Good morning, welcome along to this video walkthrough of our 2009 Willoughby Vacation 28 by 12 2 bed. It's got double glazing and it's got electric heaters and it's priced at 12365. Going to have a quick look around the caravan and point out a few bits and pieces to you, so let's get on. So you join me here in the living room area, so you might notice there is vinyl here. The vinyl goes throughout the caravan. This was intended for a European customer, but it's been cancelled, so we've got, U we've got vinyl flooring and we've got EU sockets fitted throughout. The vinyl flooring staying as it is, obviously, but if you did want some carpet fitted in the living room area and in the bedrooms under your feet, then we can do that. And also the sockets will be changed back to UK sockets, so just to get out of the way and uh, clear that up so that you're not too uh, worried about the uh, plugs not being able to plug in your phone, we will sort that out. So in the living room area here, we've got a fitted dining area on my left-hand side, and then we've got a fitted living area on the right-hand side. All the upholstery in here has been changed. I don't think we've changed it, but it was changed since it was originally built um, to this grey fabric, as you can see, which generally is in a decent enough condition. Got a couple of stools there around our table, and then over in the corner here, on the front door side area of the caravan we've then got our gas fire and sort of TV area storage and all that over in the corner so that's all fairly tidy we've got a kitchen area opposite us here decent uh, cupboard space sink there and gas oven all open plan as pretty much every caravan is these days As this has been worked on already, there was some delamination in here on kitchen cupboards and things, but those doors where they've been delaminating have been cut and painted, so they've all been sorted out. There's one exterior door which comes in on the right-hand side here, as you can see, and shelf above for the microwave. Coming through the uh, living area to the hallway, as you can see, vinyl goes all the way through to the back, as I mentioned. Our main bedroom at the rear here, we've got storage above the bed in the corners, as well as bedside tables. Double mattress, obviously. Window on the rear of the caravan there. No curtains fitted just at the moment, but I'm sure we've got some to go back in here. And then we've got a decent sized wardrobe area. There's a plinth heater down on the left-hand side, as you can see. So that runs off the electric. You switch that on, it blows out hot air. And then our wardrobe here, as I sit down on the bed just to be able to show you a bit nicer. We've got a wardrobe here with hanging rail space, which is some good hanging rail space, as you can see. And then we've got a little drawer unit down the bottom. You could fit additional storage in there, as you can see. There's a lot of space there, um, which goes into the back corner of the caravan. Um, so you could probably utilise that a bit better if you wanted to add some extra storage in there. We've got a door into the bathroom on the left-hand side. So it's Jack and Jill bathroom, which I'll show you in a minute. We're coming out of the main bedroom, turning to my right. We've got our twin room. So we've got another plinth heater there at the bottom of the wardrobe which goes from the floor almost to the ceiling, as you can see. And then we've got the same style bedside cupboards above the bed and two single beds in there. Again, curtains not fitted, but I think that's fine for us to sort out some curtains. So opposite there, we've got our bathroom. So as I say, it's a Jack and Jill bathroom. So we've come in through the hallway door there. We're on the left-hand side there. There is then a door in from the main bedroom. We've got our toilet. There's an electric panel heater there. And then turning around, we've then got our sink and shower. So the shower is a 50-50 sliding door, as you can see. It goes back halfway, but it's quite a wide shower enclosure. Uh, decent size, so uh, no problems there. Coming out of the main, the bathroom there and up to the living room area, you can see it's all been tidied up. We've done a few bits and pieces in here already to make the caravan much nicer and uh, repaired a lot of bits and pieces in here. I'm going to look at the outside now, show the exterior. A bit drizzly today, so I'm not going to hang about too long. Just going to give a quick look around. There's no damage to the front of the caravan there. All looks fairly tidy. Looking at the offside, just a couple of holes at the top there where it's had a TV aerial fitted. There is a bit of a dent I can see, which is down towards the rear of the caravan on the offside. It's got an imprint of a golf ball, I would say. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Somebody's been out on the driving range. Rear corner trim probably needs replacing, just a bit of damage on there that we can take that off, put a new one on. A little bit of uh, creasing to the rear um, of the guttering there, which can just, it's, it looks like it's been straightened out and is okay. Rear of the caravan looks tidy. And then down the door side as well, mostly okay. There is just a dent where I think the door retainer has been broken at some point, and we've got a dent there from the uh, exterior door handle which is kind of a common thing sometimes because if it swings open in the wind, they can obviously bash the panel and it only takes once to do it. Chassis is a painted chassis, as you can see. Solid chassis, no problems there. 
So that's the Willoughby vacation, all pretty tidy, a couple of little dents on the outside, but the inside's been tidied up and looking quite good. It's a Willoughby vacation, 28 by 12, two bed from 2009. It's got double glazing and electric heaters. It's priced at 12,365. Got any questions, give me a call because I'm getting in out of the rain. Cheers.